Hello everyone. Good afternoon. It's nice to see you again. Well, Jörg and I have so, so many requests about making a video about the differences between Germany and the UK. And believe me, there are a lot. Yes, so, so many. We just said we could make a film, probably. And, well, we try to narrow it down to the things we, we notice. Yeah, which we, which we recognize on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes. <laughs> and we are in the kitchen because it sounds probably really strange, but, um, well, we decided to make a cheesecake because cheesecakes are very popular in Germany and they are popular here as well but I think there are so many kinds in Germany. Yeah. So um, Jörg was so kind to just come downstairs from his office because he's working and uh, so that we can start the video together but I'm making the cake and well it's not a, a, a baking video so I will just show you the basics and link the recipe down below yeah. Yeah. yeah and we'll show you the result later yeah. and i'll return to work and afterwards i've got something delicious for tea yes oh yes you know i actually we've never made cheesecake here no it's the first time first time here it's for i don't know we've we've moved four and a half years ago incredible yeah. so i'll see you later My parents just sent us a parcel yesterday and they sent us something called Käsekuchenhilfe. So it's a kind of help to make your cheesecake and we've been using that for ages for, I don't know, as long as I can remember and it always works. So I'm not sure um, if you can't get it in the shops, you will definitely find it online. Yeah. So I'll be making the base first, consisting of butter, then uh, sugar, flour, gluten-free flour for us. You can, of course, use regular flour, baking powder and an egg. Right. I just finished the base. This is what it looks like and now I can move on to the filling. <laughs> that, apart from the Käsekuchenhilfe, consists of sugar, some lemon zest, milk, of course, quark, um, egg white and egg yolk and some uh, vanilla extract. This is the filling, which is, well, as you can see, quite a lot, but absolutely normal. Now, this, of course, goes into the baking tin, all of it. And it's usually very, very yummy. Now this will have to bake for quite some time, 70 minutes, yeah. Cake is done and it looks quite nice. And the kitchen smells amazing, so, so yummy. <laughs> I wish I could, I could um, transport the smell to you because it's oh, divine. Look, come on, have a look. That looks... I want to dive in like now. Amazing. It just looks amazing and it's... <laughs> it, it just... Um, Making me hungry. Yeah. Well, me as well. And it smells so good. Yes, the smells amazing. Yeah. And it turned out beautifully. Yeah. That's how it should be. German cheesecake. Yes. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, it's still very, very warm, so, but Jörg wants to give it a try. I can't J wait. 
Just be careful because it's really hot. Yeah, but sorry, I can't wait. I can't wait. Be careful. Delicious. Simply delicious. <laughs> and now we can continue with the differences between Germany and the UK. We had to choose and it was tough. Just take food. Yeah. So, so many differences. Um, yeah, we just had to choose. <laughs> Yeah, but please don't take it too seriously. No, not at all. Yeah. I mean, no, absolutely not. We love both. So. Yeah. But these are just the differences we see in our day to day life. Just take this. Yes. Honestly, is that an instrument? Yeah. <laughs> they call it bread. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they call it bread. Take it. What's the name in Germany? Like on the streets, the musicians. <laughs> so yes, that's the German yeah. word. I don't know what it Or you could it. use that. That would be. You know what that would be? You could take that as a cushion because yes. it's so soft. <laughs> this is bread. Yes, but. English bread. English bread. This is German bread. Just. Yeah. A kind of German bread. Yes, a kind of German bread. The, the bread we could, the German bread we can buy here. This one is, we can buy that at Waitrose. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And this is... A solid block of bread. Yeah. Mm. With taste. <laughs> and really, for German people, if you come to the UK, taste this kind of bread and you know how your stomach will feel. I, I will never forget, when I studied in Cambridge, there were several German people and like they really liked the British bread for a month and after that they said, I can't stand it any longer. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, this is just how you grow up. Yeah, but this is proper bread. Yes. <laughs> if you haven't tried it, give it a try and let us know. If you don't like it, being British and all, that's absolutely fine yes. with us. Fine. Okay, after we had this gorgeous cheesecake, it is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it was really good. It, yeah. Delicious. Uh, yes. Jörg just made himself a cup of tea. A cup of tea? Yep. No! A cup of coffee! <laughs> yes, because... German people drink coffee. If you drink tea, you're like an outsider. Well, yeah, to be honest, like when we go to a birthday party in Germany, I'm the only one who drinks tea. And we definitely notice that British people, more British people like tea. Yeah. And, uh, well, we have this coffee machine, basically for you and when we have visitors. Yeah. But... Uh, I really love my tea. <laughs> well, funny story, my hairdresser, we were talking about tea and coffee and I, I, I told her that well, most of the time Jörg and I just drink tea and she said, now I know the reason why you live in the UK. They threw you out of Germany. <laughs> That was so, so funny. Um, I don't know, yeah. I just, I've always loved tea. Yeah. Always. It yeah. just suits us better. <laughs> but now you have coffee. Yeah. And I think um, at the office once a day you have coffee as well. Yeah. Yeah. Maximum once a day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, on to sausages. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The thing which we, when we came to the UK and didn't know where to buy things, we really missed were German sausages. Because we believe the best sausages are made in Germany. <laughs> yeah. A good German bratwurst. Yes. Yeah. And what we folks both like and really, really like is 
these kind of frankfurters. And it's not the frankfurters you use for a hot dog. No. They're different. We call them in Germany Wiener. Yeah. And again, where did you get those waitros? Waitros, yeah. This is yeah. not an app for waitros at all. No. You can just get them. You can, you can get the... Uh, S similar ones in, in Lidl too. Yes, yes, actually. Similar ones in Lidl and yeah. a lot cheaper. And they're both produced in Germany, so you have no authentic German. Yes, and, well, we we usually, they are really nice cold, but yeah. um, a lot better when you just heat them up in uh, in water. Yeah, just boil them in warm water. No, no, boil Not just, boil, yeah. It just has to be warm. Yeah, just warm. Don't cook them. No, that will destroy them. Yeah. And then we eat them with, this is Amorazen. This is German mustard. Yeah. Really nice. And um, the UK has Coleman's mustard, yeah. which is actually very nice. It, which is nice too, but this is a strong mustard. Yeah. And this is a more mild and sweet mustard. It tastes totally different. Totally different. I wouldn't eat this one. I wouldn't eat this one with the... Um, Frankfurt, no. but with a bratwurst. Yeah, with a bratwurst is fine. It's really nice with bratwurst. So, yeah. both very nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, the last difference in food, there are more, much more, but maybe the main, some main difference we see is the British have, okay, this is not British, this is Australian, but they've got a similar product, um, Marmite, or this is Vegemite, and we Germans don't know these things. You can't buy Marmite in Germany at all. No, you can't. And you spread it onto bread. We use cheese. It. We use it with cheese. Uh, some people use it for cooking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can even get crackers with Marmite tastes, or chips with Marmite, uh, crisps with Marmite yeah. taste. So really, really strange thing. <laughs> and you have to get used to it, but to be honest, I love Marmite or Vegemite. I love Marmite. Yeah, I, I even like, no, I prefer Vegemite. That's why we buy it. Is there really, uh, because you, you eat it, Yes. can you really taste um, a difference between Vegemite and Marmite? Yes. What's yes. the difference? Is that milder, mm. maybe? Yeah, it just tastes better. Really? Yes. Well, I mean. That's my way in honoring Australia. It's like, I think you either hate it or love it. Yeah. But we have something similar. Which, in... yeah, which is typical German, which you can't, you know, you can get it in the UK. Yes. But most of the people in the UK never heard about it, which is muggy. But what we have to say, the taste between these two is, it is a little bit mm, similar. No, it, it isn't. But... I think it is. <laughs> no. I, I mean, this is not, this is liquid seasoning and if you've never tried it, you can also use Vegemite or Marmite with this. Take a, a, a boiled egg, hard boiled, and spread some tiny amount of Vegemite on it or yeah. muggy. Um, That's nice. Yes, yeah, but with muggy it tastes much better. Yeah. Yeah. Really does. It's really nice. And we usually, usually the Germans use it to uh, season their soups. That's yes. what we do. Yeah. yeah. Or you put it in an egg. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, it's a seasoning. Yeah. yeah. And it's really tasty and it's really good. Yes. Moving away from food. Yeah. What's next? Mm. Electricity. Oh dear. Which is, okay. Strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's say electricity is electricity. It's very similar. But the huge difference is, and, yeah, it's really, and it's a huge difference is, the plugs are different. This is a UK plug. And this is a Europe style plug. And you can see the difference. So for us, moving to the UK was difficult because we couldn't, we first thought we could not use all of our appliances. But then we found out you can buy these kind of things. I have to interrupt you because 
you said, we didn't know it's not true. I mean, we knew it from yeah. holidays before. Yeah. Yes, but <laughs> yeah, you can buy these little helpers. Adapters, Which yeah. I think we've got plenty of it in our house. Yes. So now we can use our appliances. And I mean, the difference is, it's like when you use, for example, you want to use the kettle in the morning yeah. to make yourself a cup of tea. Um, you have to like flip the switch. Yeah, yeah. To turn the kettle on. Yes, each socket has its own switch. So, so you have to switch it on, and then you get some electricity out of it. In in case you and I know. So many watched it the holiday. Am yeah. uh, Amanda Woods. <laughs> She's called Amanda Woods, isn't she? Yes. From the States. So she comes to the UK and said to um, Graham, um, it doesn't work. I want to make some tea. It doesn't work. And so she forgot to like just flip the switch. And we don't have that in Germany. No. It just, it just works. And one thing. This is something I will never get over. Sorry. This is, yeah, yeah I find that so annoying. Um, being a woman and all, and you wash your hair and you want to style afterwards, we just have sockets in the bathroom. You don't have that here. And we know you don't have it in South Africa either, or in, yeah. in Australia you don't have it, but being German, you're just used to have sockets. Yes, yeah, you only have a socket for if you want to lose the electric razor. Yes, yeah. But let's say when we had our house in Germany, we had a socket, a normal, regular socket in the bathroom. Yeah, so that can be quite annoying, I yeah. think. Yeah. But I believe it's just a safety precaution. Here. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. So, well, yeah. I mean, you have to get used to it, yeah. so nothing you could do. <laughs> no. Not one, please. Now, we are quite lucky because we don't have that here in the house, yeah. lucky, but the British and their separate taps, uh, why? Why? I never got it. Uh, I don't know, I read it's because the plumbing system in the UK is different. I, I think it's just the traditional yes. style. Yeah, because I mean so many people when they buy, buy houses and redecorate their bathrooms they could yeah. make a change but they 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 buy a tab they buy separate tabs yeah. they just they want i don't know they like their tradition which i mean it's nice we find it quite charming yeah but it's strange for example at work <laughs> in our toilets we have this kind of tabs really yes oh and the water is always boiling hot yeah so if you wash your hands you get boiled yeah, <laughs> it's like a training. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's. I mean, the British definitely love their traditions. Yeah. That is very different from from Germany. It's like just take the old houses. Yeah. So many old houses still exist, of course. Uh, I mean, due to the war. Yeah, a lot in of Germany. yeah, a lot of old houses have been destroyed because of the war. Yeah. And we live in a Victorian terrace house, so a very old house. Yeah. And it's nice. I mean, we find it quite charming, the British and their traditions. We, yeah. we, we like it. Yeah. Yeah? Yes, it's really nice. And I think in some ways it shows, so it shows something about you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Germans are very different in that respect. Yeah. It's very strange. I yeah. don't know. Hard to explain, but yeah. that is very, very different. Yeah. How are, how would you describe the Germans in that respect? Always, always thinking about tomorrow. Mm, yeah, probably more, more. Yeah. And I mean, we don't have a queen. No. We would like to have a queen, probably. Really? You yes. think so? I think a lot, of, a lot of people would like to have a queen. <laughs> Ah. Is there something else you wanted to say about houses? Yes, I think property. Um, the relationship to property, and mm. I think that's quite different, and it's a 
to, from, from Germany to the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, in Germany, usually people when they are young buy some land, mm -hmm. plan a house and build a house on the land and stay there for the rest of their life. Yeah. That's probably what, yeah, if you own a house in Germany, what 80% of the people do. Yeah. In the UK, you buy a house, you buy a property. And you usually, when you're young, you start small. And then by buying and selling, you grow and you climb up the so-called property ladder, which we Germans don't know about. For no. us, yeah, you have your house and you stay in your house uh, and you, yeah, you plan it and some but when we built a, built a house in Germany, our neighbors told us it took them two years to plan the house. Okay, that was something we couldn't yes. understand. In the UK, sometimes people don't live this long in their property before yeah. they sell it again. Yeah, that's true. So if people aren't as attached yeah. to their houses um, as Germans are. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. It, that's why, I mean, that's what we definitely noticed, not only when we moved here um, when renting, but even more so when buying. Yeah. Some houses look quite all right the moment you view them, but then like when you look behind the surface, um, it's not really good quality. Yeah. So that you have to be very careful with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Germans are quite different in that no. respect. Yeah, um, but it's just because they stay there. Yeah, you built your house. Yeah, you plan it. You probably some some you, yeah you build it in an individual way, and you just stay there. Yeah, yeah. And that's why you want to make it right. Yeah, because it has to last. Yeah, absolutely. We don't plan on moving here, no. and that's why we take our time yeah. to make it look nice and yeah, we want to stay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, another thing we really notice, or I mean, I mean, we are German, so sometimes we just, we just, sometimes we, we don't, don't notice. We don't notice. Germans are very direct, whereas British people, yeah. they sugarcoat things. And that's why sometimes people from Germany come across as maybe rude. Yeah, because we just tell things how they are. <laughs> yeah. Do you have an example? Oh. Or, well... No, I can sense it for something to work. Yeah. Um, in Germany, when things go wrong, you just say, this went wrong. Yeah, it was bad and it is bad. Um, in the UK, there are probably more, more colourful ways in saying <laughs> it wasn't as good as it was. I love colourful ways. Yeah. yeah. You, um, I think in now four years time, I've never heard really them saying, this is was really bad and this was really, really wrong. Uh, no, <laughs> it wasn't as good. Or, uh, it's very different. And, like, let's say we Germans don't like this kind of long small talk. When we have a meeting, we like, like to go directly to the point. Uh, as in the UK, yeah, you talk around and you have a small talk and talk about weather and the family, and then you start talking about the issues. But you know what I find funny? On the other hand, what I find direct, what, because yeah. we often notice, for example, we go to a country house for a national trust yeah. property, and I wear a nice dress and people say, like people we haven't met before, yeah. I love your dress. That never happens in Germany. No, if, if people would do this in Germany, they would feel they offend you. But that, again, that is, it, it, it's direct. Yeah. That's, so that, in that respect... But British that's people, a pi polite form of being direct. Yeah. yeah. A German would never do that. He no. would never tell you, oh, I like your dress. Or the way, the, for, often, yeah. sometimes happens, we go to a cafe and uh, the waitress, oh, I love your top. And uh, in Germany, people would really feel offended. I yeah. mean, I, I really like it. It's, yeah. it's kind and nice. Yeah, or if you meet people, it's 
what we send is sometimes after saying hello and what's your name, they ask you what's your profession. Yes. That's a thing a German would never do. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So in this sense, the UK people are direct. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are polite because we say that's a private thing and we don't want to know about private things if we don't know the people. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really strange. So yeah. two ways of directness, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. Yes. Shopping. Yes. And shopping we mean buying your daily groceries um compared to germany it's quite different yeah, because what we see first is you've got this self-service tilt yeah which we don't have in germany they i think they because they they introduce them more and more but it, that is like i can't tell because i think the german thinks no we can't do this kind of self-service where people scan their products and pay for it because this will just invite you to steal things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's typical German. That's, but that's typical German. Yeah. So, but we find it really, really quite looking forward and quite, quite nice. I mean, Ikea has it in Germany, yes. but uh, it's not, I think they introduce it more and more, but... But not in the big supermarkets. No, no really no. weird. Because we Germans like to go to the till and... Yeah. Yeah. Strange, yeah. really strange. For example, if you go to Tesco or Sainsbury and you queue, and things are quite like at the till, very smooth and slow. Yes. And sometimes, like you buy something and they ask you, oh, you bought this, what do you want to cook? Um, is there a recipe you want to share or something? It happens. Yeah. Oh, I, I will never forget you came home and said um, yeah. there was a woman, a customer. Yes, I was at Tesco's buying my daily groceries and there was a woman at the till and she was chatting to the to woman uh, and they were talking about the, I think it was a bird they had and it went on for five minutes and at the end she showed her pictures of a bird and then she paid and left. Yeah. You would never have this in Germany because no. because uh, people behind this lady would just kill her. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, no, the killer would, would just get angry and say, "Look, I want to pay. I don't yeah. need to go home." Blah, blah, blah. Though it happens yeah. here as well. It it happens. Good, good. But but like. But it's more relaxed here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And that is, we find that charming. Yeah. It's nice. Yes. Um, because, I mean, life is stressful enough as it exactly. is. So when you go to Aldi or Lidl here in the UK, which is from Germany. Yeah, and you can see it. Completely. We're trained from German managers. So we feel quite at home because yeah. we're used to it. Yeah, they just put it through the car. But here, like, I will never forget, went to Tesco. So these are eggs now, sorry, in your head. And then, oh, let me see, are they all right? One, two, three, four, oh, beautiful eggs. Nice. Yeah. That would never happen in Germany. No, no. <laughs> I don't know, people don't have any, any patience at no. all. It's probably because we try to be effective. And we also... Efficient. Efficient, yeah. Yes, efficient. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we let's say are in a professional way and so we're also in a private way trying to be efficient in a private way in a personal in our personal lives yeah what do you mean yeah for example like the two of us what would be an efficient way just curious and for example before we go shopping we think about what we want to buy so we can save time uh, looking at things in the shop. And doesn't everybody? Mm. Yeah, some people do it too. Yeah. But most of the people in Germany do it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think one of your... Oh, no, I remember one of your colleagues once said, like, um, I send you the list. Yeah. And, uh, like, it was all planned out. And he was like, oh, yeah, German. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> we just, we don't notice. Driving. I yes. mean, we all know that the British drive on the, on the wrong side. Yeah. Yeah? 
Or the others, or them, the others trying to be the ones <laughs> So it depends on the point of view. Yes. <laughs> it's, yeah, when you drive here, it's more relaxing. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's an, a, a very relaxed. Yeah. First of all, you've got speed limits. Yeah. So even on the motorway, you're only allowed, allowed to drive 70 miles per hour, mm -hmm. which most of the people do. Yeah. So they, most of them stick to the rules. Um, and secondly, yeah, even if you drive a little bit slower, people are still polite, so you don't get pushed away from the road or such a thing. We definitely noticed a difference compared to like 20 years ago. Yes, Pe yes. People here had more patience yeah. than nowadays, but it's you can't compare it to Germany yeah. at all. Yeah. Like when we go to Germany and have to drive there, it's awful. Yes. It's absolute, it's yeah. a nightmare. And when you drive on the motorway, even now, now I'm not used to the speed because. No, not anymore. Because in Germany, at the motorway, there is no speed limit. So you can drive as fast as you could. Only in certain areas you have speed limits on the motorway, so it's not allowed everywhere, but in big and huge areas you are allowed to drive as fast as you could, so you can drive 18, 90, 100, 120 miles per hour. Yeah. Yeah, which is really, really fast. Yeah. And if you're not used to it, it's really exhausting. Yeah, I just, yeah. we have, I, it's really strange, although it's such a big difference compared to Germany, like 70 miles per hour. Max, we we got used to that so quickly and yeah. find it really it's so relaxed yeah. compared to Germany. It's like in Germany it's so stressful, and yeah, yeah. I don't know. And that's why we sometimes uh, we we don't get <laughs> why some people have those really fast cars, yeah. like really like racing yeah. cars here in the UK because they, you can't use them. It yeah. doesn't make any sense at all. No. So but, but that's the thing I like. Yeah. Traveling in the UK with a car is more relaxing and yeah. traveling. Yeah. It's yeah, it's quite fun. Yeah. But we could go on and on and on. But there's one thing I just need to tell you, which <laughs> I, I don't know. I just realized since having moved to the UK, the amount of spiders here in the UK is crazy. No, no not the amount, of the amount of spiders which you have in your house. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if, if uh, spiders just like the UK houses. <laughs> because I remember when we were in Germany, we never had any spiders in our house. Like when we had, like within 13 years, maybe we had two spiders. Yeah. We have them here, uh, like. Oh my god, like at the property we lived in before. Yeah. Like we had five spiders at yeah. night. I had to search the house every day before we went to bed. I don't know if you read Harry Potter and there is, what's, what's it called? Aragog. Yeah. That's why I call them, all the spiders are Aragogs here for me. Yeah. Um, so Probably that's the idea behind it because they've got so many spiders in their houses, that, so that's a common thing. Yeah. Since having moved here and and we both read Harry Potter, I just thought, okay, now I know why J.K. Rowling used that. Yeah. It just makes a lot of sense. But you get used. But you know what? I will never forget. Just I just remember our very first um, holiday in the UK was in Cornwall, yeah. and we were um, on the visit and had this beautiful apartment. The very first morning, I woke up. And had a spider in my bed. Yeah. Never happened in Germany. I was horrified. But to be honest, we don't know why. But it happened to you yeah. as well. Yeah. Two years ago. But to be honest, yeah, but as I said, we don't know why we've got spiders here and in Germany we don't. No. So these were some things that we, well, that we see on a regular basis. Yeah, there's a difference between UK and Germany. Let us know what you think about Germans, maybe what you notice yeah. about German people. What are your experiences? 
Yes, we'd really love to know. Yeah. And, and, and as we said, these are only a tiny fraction of things. Yeah, just we scratch the surface. Yeah. We hope you like this video and we'll see you again very soon, of course, and stay safe. Yes, stay safe, take care of yourself. And, and bye! Bye!